I'm Rob Corkin. First up at 6, teachers in Pueblo District 60 and their students wrapped up their first day back in class after that six-day-long strike ended this weekend. News 5's education reporter Lena Halland tra tracked the strike the whole way through in our top story. She was there as Pueblo City students were reunited with their teachers today. We were here as students rushed back into their classrooms almost as if it was the first day of school all over again. But after a week of being away, Belmont Elementary School is one of four schools that may not have enough contact hours to finish the year on time. Welcome back, Sunset, welcome back. A sigh of relief. Oh, it's exciting. I'm so excited to be back and very relieved. Back open for business with a new agreement in place. We really truly believe that we've made a difference for Pueblo City Schools in D60. Students eager to get back to class. I'm so happy to see you both. Oh. Welcome back, hug high five or handshake. Halen, go put away your stuff, sweetie pie. PTC. Derek Flowers PTC. spent a historic week on the picket lines alongside nearly a thousand other teachers asking District 60 leaders for change. On Saturday, we were there as the two parties negotiated a deal that worked for both sides, and teachers returned to school today in unity. It actually it was worth it. It was worth it because I know that we're going to have a brighter Pueblo and my students deserve this and the future educators deserve this as well. But after missing a full week of school, some may be paying for it later. So right now the majority of our schools are still in good shape and should be unaffected. Um, there are four schools that we're keeping a close eye on and looking at options and what that might look like. Belmont, Corwin, Goodnight and Heroes may be in danger of not getting enough contact hours. Do we need to add on time to the end of the year? Um, exactly how does that look? And, and those are the discussions that we'll be having this week. In the meantime, administrators tell me it's catch up time in the home stretch of the year. It's going to be a lot of catch up this week. Um, a lot of testing windows. There's a lot of a lot of things going on this time of year. So uh, to miss a week of it, a little stressful. But we're you know, like I said, show must go on. We're gonna pull it off just fine. I've been waiting for this for a week now, so I'm excited to be back. Kindergarten, line up. School board members will still need to formally vote on the negotiated offer that teachers accepted over the weekend. Their next meeting is May 22nd, and we will let you know what happens. Always watching out for you, Pueblo Lena Howland, News 5.